And look, a Discord message got pulled into that line, Keith. Keith, and you didn't get pulled into a meeting. I caught you on camera on a YouTube video talking about got pulled into a meeting. He always doing that stuff. I'm so happy everybody, whole world, gonna get to see it. All 70 people that's gonna watch this video <laughs> on our small channel. But you've seen how Keith be doing. Ah, I can't wait for him to see this. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Games from Almost in Full Color. Today's video, I wanted to talk about gaming on GeForce Now Ultimate with my Samsung Galaxy Fold 6 and my Moga XP7-X Plus. Now, if you're familiar with this controller, you know it's not new. It's been around for a few years. Uh, I like it because you can wirelessly charge your devices while you play. So I think this has like a 2000 milliamp hour battery, but if you just like flip this on right here, you can see it'll start charging my phone while I play. And it has a pretty big battery that also is the same battery the controller itself is powered by. So you get a ton of hours of play, especially if you're not using it to charge your phone. You can see here we're like at 91%. So I don't really need to use this feature. So I just turned it back off while I'm playing the game because or while I'm playing GeForce Now because it really doesn't pull hard from the battery on the phone at all. Like I would say maximum screen brightness, uh, as you can see here. You know that it's probably going to burn about 10 to 15 percent of my battery every hour i play on geforce now you can see here we're also playing on 5g cell service so we're not using wi-fi right now because i get amazing service at home and i also have unlimited data and i'm not subject to a heavy data user like uh throttling from t-mobile because i have the old magenta max plus or the magenta max plan so we're kind of excluded from that uh, if you have that issue then you might want to play over wi-fi and if you do use wi-fi the good thing is this phone does have uh wi-fi 6 so give it a second it'll find mine you'll have that little 6 right there which just lets you know you know you're getting basically the fastest wi-fi you can get on a phone right now i don't believe any support wi-fi 7 at this time but anyway, we're gonna switch back to 5G because again, I get great cell phone service and just honestly, it works better than my Wi-Fi because I can go anywhere around the house, outside, whatever, and my service is not gonna drop at all. So if you're wondering what this is, this is just like a little custom plugin that you can get if you use the Game Booster. Uh, basically just tells you what's going on with your phone, how the CPU is being used, your GPU utilization, temperature of the device and how much RAM is being used at this time. I wish it told you the battery, but hey, I guess you can always just look up the top for the battery. Uh, you can also use priority mode if you want. That just stops incoming calls and notifications while you're playing. You also have your screen record, your screenshot, you know, just things like that. Unfortunately, Discord used to work, but Samsung and Discord had like a falling out. So Discord doesn't work with Game Booster anymore, but you used to be able to connect your Discord to it. And you could just talk to people, you know, while you're playing on your Discord. Now, you can still do that, but you just have to have the Discord app running in the background. So it's not like you lose the, the, like the ability to do that. It's just not built right into Game Booster like it was. Part about this is that you can play right now. I'm doing 24, 25 by 60 at 1080 at a 21 by 9 ratio. Basically, it's ultra wide, full HD, and that's because it fills out this screen better. Now, none of these resolutions with their respective ratio, screen ratios is going to fully fill your screen and give you like a really good picture. As you go down, you'll see you go down to lower resolutions and you can play all the way up to uh, 25 by 60 by 1600. So if you wanted like you know, even better quality or clarity in your picture, then you could bump it up some, but the resolution might change. So, uh, matter of fact, I believe this one is actually best. I don't know. Oh, this one was, and I'll show y'all later. I was using this device in another way. That's actually really cool. Uh, and I'm going to show you that a little later, how I do it. If you don't want to play on your cell phone. So that's why I was on that. The 25 by the 2560 by 1600 at 1610 is actually the best way to fill out the screen uh this max bit rate we're going to max that out at 75 because that gives you the best picture clarity because it's pushing the most data and it's pulling the most data in order to really give you that crisp looking picture our frame rate you can go all the way down to 30 if you want but who would do that of course we're going to stay at 120 to maximize the screen 
Uh, I always turn off adjust for poor network conditions because I don't have a poor network and I just don't need it to even be thinking about that stuff. So let's go back over to games. And as usual, uh, I mean, you could play like I've been playing some Visions of Man in the demo, waiting on that game to come out. But we're going to go ahead and jump into Destiny 2. I usually like using Destiny 2 mostly because it's a game I play all the time. So I'm very familiar with the game. And also it's a very heavy game. So it really shows off how well GeForce Now Ultimate can perform on a AAA title that's really demanding on your resources. Uh, if you're not familiar with GeForce Now Ultimate, it does give you access to a NVIDIA 4080 card. Uh, matter of fact, let's turn down our volume. It does give you access to a 4080 NVIDIA card. So, it, I mean, you get about 95% of the performance you would get of an actual physical card, which is great. Let's go ahead and bump that away. We can put on the statistics just so you guys can see it. Now I'm kind of like have a bunch of crazy overlays. Uh, no, I didn't want to quit Destiny. Kind of tap that away. You can also just push B and it'll go away too. I don't know why I didn't do that, but <laughs> but yeah. So this is basically GeForce Now's built-in one. It shows you where you're playing at or what server you're currently connected to. Obviously, your ping, 25 milliseconds over a cell phone signal is crazy. Uh, that's actually really good. Uh. Obviously, you have the, st the stream coming in at 120, and then you have your game. Uh, the one you want to focus on really is your stream FPS because that is going to be the max you can actually display when it comes to frames per second. So you see the game is at 135. You're really only going to get 120 because it can't display more than 120 because the stream container is 120. Hopefully, that makes sense. So if your game is running lower, say around like 75, but you're streaming it at 120, you're going to have issues because 75 doesn't go into 120 cleanly, you know, just like division. But anyway, we're not going to jump into too much of that. There's other videos on the channel where I discuss that. I'll actually pop a link up if you want to check that out. Um, but yeah, so you can see over here, whatever reason, we have a discrepancy between what Game Booster is saying is happening and what the, uh, the video one is saying. I, I would actually rely on this one because this is just like kind of experimental but and it's probably having an issue pulling it because technically the phone is not running the game it's actually streaming it so it probably doesn't really know what's going on so the fps is probably off but you can see that the cpu is working a little bit obviously because it has to decode all these packets that's coming in my gpu is pretty much doing absolutely nothing it doesn't even know things are happening right now uh, temperature is staying relatively low and our RAM usage is the same at about 52%. Uh, we'll jump in here. We'll look over at our settings. Oh, I went to the wrong thing. Hold on. Let's see. We'll jump to our settings. You can see running full screen, 2560 by 1600. Uh, I usually use, matter of fact, you got to have VSync on and field of view maxed out and I run everything at the highest. The only thing I do is turn off motion blur because I don't particularly like it, but that's kind of a user preference thing. And yeah, that's about it. So really one of the best things about playing on this obviously is just the screen real estate that you get. Like it fills out really nicely. Uh, and with the screen being at that 120 Hertz refresh, everything just plays like super smooth. We'll go ahead and jump into a nightfall. I don't even know which one it is. Let's see. We have Arc. We have Overcharge Machine Gun. What am I rocking right now? Ooh, Arc and Overcharge Machine Gun. Believe it or not, that actually wasn't planned, but we'll take it. So, yeah, uh, while we're just jumping in this normal nightfall, I'll kind of go over a little bit more. Now, if you're wondering about like latency and things like that, honestly, this plays better on my phone using GeForce Now Ultimate than it would play using my PS5 or my Xbox Series X just because you get to get run the game at 120 and it also looks better because you get to run the game at max settings because you're basically playing the PC version of the game. So it <laughs> honestly GeForce Now is basically the way I play all my games. Uh, most of the time though I do play on my laptop just because on the laptop side or on the Windows uh, PC client side, you also have access to VRR, 
So it, it actually does a great job of marrying up the screen, the stream FPS with your game FPS. So like I said earlier, like if your stream was at 120 and your game was only running at like 75 for some reason, uh, what would happen is the stream would actually come down to 75 to match up with your game. And it actually keeps it like super smooth. So that's why I normally play on that. And plus I can also play on my big 48 inch uh, LG C1 TV, which, you know, supports 4K 120. So not only do I get the, what the heck, where is this thing at? But not only do I get, you know, that great frame rate still, but I also get it at a full 4K. And you also have HDR and things like that. But yeah, I mean, as you can see, like the game plays great. Like you would never know <laughs> that you're playing basically over the cloud and you would never know that i'm playing this on cell phone internet right now like you would be if you were watching this the first thing you're gonna think is like oh yeah well you probably are playing it like you know on some super great fiber internet connection and that's the only way it works that's not the case at all like come on there we go get them down to hell but uh that's not the way it works at all like streaming on geforce now has just come a long way like Depending on the clarity you're streaming at and the frame rate and stuff, you don't need like a super top tier internet connection to make it work. And it's just really crazy how far 5G internet or 5G cell phone internet has like come. Like I'm able to pretty much fire this up at any time. Mostly because, yeah, I have a really great cell phone connection. So if you have a bad cell phone connection, then yeah, you wouldn't be able to do this. You'd have to rely more so on Wi-Fi, but that's like with anything you know you got to run with what you have now the next thing i want to show you guys so we're going to jump over from that let me see if i kill these guys and you you die oh no and you die too hold on we got to kill everything all right so now let's jump into the next thing i wanted to show you which is probably the coolest part about using geforce now ultimate with this phone now remember i told you i like playing on my lg c1 48 inch tv now normally i play it with my laptop that's over there but if you didn't have you know a laptop that could take advantage of vr with geforce now ultimate and maybe all you did have was your samsung android phone and in this case i have the fold 6 here you can actually play geforce now ultimate on a screen like this or on an ultra wide screen or whatever you have as long as you have either a display port to USB-C cable or HDMI to USB-C cable. Uh, right now I have this uh, USB-C to HDMI here. Now, once you click or put this into your phone, I don't know why I said click, but once you put this into your phone, it basically will activate Samsung Dex mode. So let's see if it pops up. It should pop up here soon. Okay, I guess it didn't recognize it, but we'll put it over there into where is it not pc hdmi 4. this is samsung dex and all you really need i use a bluetooth keyboard just a little cheap one here let me see that i turn it on it is on okay sometimes it takes a little while to connect and a bluetooth mouse which you can kind of see the mouse moving around here if you don't have a mouse crazy enough you can actually take your phone just swipe down and you can use your phone as a touchpad. So if you want it, you could just click it and it turns your phone into literally a mouse touchpad that you would have on a laptop. So if you don't have a USB uh, Bluetooth mouse or Bluetooth keyboard, I recommend you actually get one if you're gonna be using Samsung Dex. But if you didn't and you at least just wanted a mouse pad or touchpad, you could have it on your phone. But we don't need that, so we're gonna exit out. I'll double tap to close it. But anyway, so we'll sit that back down what we'll do is we'll go down here and we'll bring up GeForce Now Ultimate. You also need a com controller. Most of the time, I'm not going to lie, I usually use my PS5 controller, but it's dead. So right now, I grab my Stadia controller that also literally just died. It's, what, what is this nonsense? All right, we're going to grab another controller. I'm going to grab my Xbox Series. Uh, what is this? The Elite? I think this is the Elite Series 2 controller. Now, you might be wondering, why didn't you grab this one first? that is because for whatever reason the top two buttons right here don't work they work sometimes it's very hit or miss and when you play destiny obviously you know you gotta click them both to use your special that doesn't happen for me a lot it's always hard to make it work so that's why i don't use it 
but that's fine we'll use it for this demonstration right here but yeah so now that we're playing on this we can basically change our screen rate or res uh our screen resolution we'll go back to basically 2560 by 1440p at a normal aspect ratio and the only downfall of playing i guess is a downfall is still a phone uh is that you can't utilize 120 fps over uh samsung decks it's, it is locked to 60 but it would support 4k if the device supported 4k and speaking to that if you have samsung good lock you can go into good lock i might have to close out of uh what you call it and then go back in it but if you have good lock if you don't download it it's not anything third party is actually from samsung and it gives you a lot more stuff but you go into this thing called multi-star once you go into multi-star you just click i love samsung decks and high resolutions for external display so basically you can support higher resolutions than what your phone would actually support uh, so you could actually do 4k now when you look at that this is locked to 1440p because even though the the, the screen itself which i'll show you will go into settings the screen itself, Samsung Dex, uh, Auto HDR, yep, wanted to do, where is our display resolution? See, our display resolution right here is actually at 4K. But since we're using the Android version of, or the Android app for GeForce Now, because even though it's in desktop mode, it's still apps, it's still the Android uh, app or whatever, we are locked to 1440p on resolution. So, but we can go back to games. Uh, I guess we could play a different game. We'll do Visions of Mana. And yeah, you just hit play. It connects. And yeah, you can literally sit here and play <laughs> on a huge TV off your phone. And if you're wondering, it does not eat battery the way you think it would. Like literally, I don't notice too much of a difference, but I would say maybe add another 5 to 6% of battery usage per hour than if you were playing on the device itself and i probably could get more if i actually turn the uh the phone screen off because i'm not using it but normally when i do this i get around three to four hours of just straight gameplay without having to charge the phone now if you have a wireless charger you can literally just sit your phone on that and it can charge while it's doing this so, or maybe if you have a, like a splitter where you could bring a charge in and, and also connect this as well. But yeah, one thing to know though, is that for whatever reason, if you let, let's see, you might be able to hear it. So the sound right now, if you guys can hear it, it's coming out of the phone. If you keep the phone as your speaker, the sound will be perfectly matched up with your, while you're playing GeForce Now Ultimate or while you're just i assume while you're playing anything but for whatever reason if i pick my tv as the sound device it will be at like a, a second delay so it's very annoying so i just keep it coming out of my phone uh for right now i'm going to turn the sound off but honestly it's not a big deal because it almost sounds like i have like a little sound bar or something uh it actually has a great sound uh great speakers in this device but yeah so we'll just go to continue jump that up I mean, you would, like I said, again, you would never know. You would never know that I'm playing this literally off of a phone. Like, that's how crazy it is. Like, it plays so good. Now, let's see. Uh, we're going to, let's go somewhere else. We'll interact. And we'll fast travel. We'll go to follow state. I'm still learning about this game. Ooh, the Meridian. But yeah. And what's crazy is while doing this, basically 1440p, 60 FPS is what you're going to get if you were playing this game on a PS5 right now. And yet it's on the phone. Like <laughs> it's just nuts how far technology has come, like all the things that we can do now. Hopefully I can actually uh, play this good because, again, I think RB. Oh, RB is working. So maybe it's LB that gives me issues. Uh, you can see LB is like acting crazy. So it is LB that's broke. 
But yeah, that's why I don't use this controller much. But we had to use it for this because I have no other options. <laughs> my Both of my other controllers died, which is crazy. Did I kill everything yet? Yes, I did. And I leveled up. Great. But yeah, man, like I just, it, it's crazy. Like every time I do this type of stuff, like I'm always just like so impressed by how far technology is coming. I know I said that, but it's, it's literally that crazy. Like this should not be possible. Again, all this is happening over cell phone internet. Like I'm not on my Wi-Fi or anything like that. This is just literally cell phone internet off of a cell phone running to a 4k display playing a game at let me see what is this game running at i actually should shift it back down hopefully it went down to 60 by itself i usually play oh so i was trying to play at 120 we'll put this back on 60 because obviously the screen is is on 60 but yeah because norm like i said normally i play it on 120 because i'm pushing it off my laptop so i can push a 4k 120 signal to the tv but since we can't do that right now, there's no point of messing up the frame rates. Let's see. Boom. Hit you with another flame. Ah, oh, man. But yeah, game just plays great. Uh, and if you're wondering, obviously this isn't a game that's like super dependent on, uh, I guess, low latency. Because, I don't know, I feel like th these type of RPG games just aren't. Destiny runs the exact same way like matter of fact let's we'll jump into destiny just to just to show you guys now i gotta remember how to get out of this game let me see uh is it here yeah uh da, 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 da. where is it at is it map controls no i gotta remember how to exit out of these games oh god oh sub menu there it is okay return the title screen uh press any button quick game okay so we're out of that game we'll jump into destiny real quick uh where is destiny over here Boop. there's destiny play now wrap up our previous session so there we go that's good if you try to switch games like really really quick sometimes it doesn't close out on the nvidia side so you might have to wait like a couple minutes or so for them to shut down that that virtual session they gave you and spin up a new one. Now, another reason why I did Destiny is because this is why you need the Bluetooth mouse and keyboard. Because for whatever reason, you see the mouse, you have it right here. Like I move my Bluetooth mouse and I could click this if I wanted to. But if you were using your phone, let's see where it is, as the touchpad, you cannot click this because for whatever reason, this becomes the GeForce Now side mouse and you can't interact with this box because you son of a you can't okay disregard all of that made me look stupid on camera i did that so many times and it did not let <laughs> it would not let me pass that screen i'm so mad right now i literally had to go get this stuff because i couldn't get past that screen to play destiny and it happens on camera Oh, noted, noted, made me look like a fool. Okay, <laughs> so anyway, disregard that. You don't need a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard to play, to get past that box for Destiny. Uh, but I will say that if you are using GeForce Now and you have a Game Pass Ultimate subscription like I do, uh, or a PC Game Pass subscription, um, cause that's really what it's linked to for GeForce Now is really pulling from the PC Game Pass, but I have Xbox and PC so I just get Game Pass Ultimate so I can get the best of both of them. Uh, you're going to need the keyboard because now you may be able to do some type of virtual keyboard over here. I'm not sure, but you will need a keyboard. And you probably want a Bluetooth keyboard because every time you launch a game that is law that is tied to your Game Pass account, that that's how you're playing the game because you didn't buy it through Steam or Epic or GOG or whatever. Um, you're going to need to type in your basically your Microsoft login and password each time. So uh, I know those people we were playing the Nightfall with, now that I think about it, are probably super pissed. But anyway, we're going to jump back into it. You'll see me struggle. that I won't be able to use any specials or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, let's see if Destiny jumped down. Usually Destiny's pretty good. Yeah, they j automatically went to 60. Like for whatever reason, this game like really 
it remembers like where you're at so it kind of or it rem or it knows like what you're doing so it just kind of and look a discord message got pulled into that line keith keith and you didn't get pulled into a meeting i caught you on camera on a youtube video talking about got pulled into a meet he always doing that stuff i'm so happy everybody whole world gonna get to see it all 70 people that's gonna watch this video <laughs> on our small channel but you've seen how keith be doing ah, i can't wait for him to see this but anyway anyway back to this it runs great i mean again you're not gonna know that i'm playing this on the phone if i wasn't telling you this you never know it and this isn't like a you gotta shift to the cloud leave physical behind type thing it's just crazy that you can do it like if you wanted to play like all physical you could i mean all like if you wanted to play all in the cloud you could and that's really kind of mostly what i do uh it always feels weird playing this at 60 when i'm so used to playing it at 120 <laughs> but it plays super smooth so it, like i said this isn't like a down with physical type video or anything like that i just love technology and love like just seeing like i said how far it's came and just how crazy everything has gotten ah oh, i forgot my lbs messed up no grenades <laughs> if you were using a good controller unlike me you know you'd be able to throw a grenade right there let's see punch you in the face because rb works haha -ha. <laughs> but yeah i mean again cell phone internet so and it works like a charm punch in the face but yeah so i mean that's probably gonna wrap this video up there's just some cool things if you guys want to see more samsung galaxy fold 6 based geforce now videos uh just let me know down in the comments i mean i can show you pretty much any kind of game that i can get access to uh if you're wondering like hey well, how does it work with mouse and keyboard uh you can literally just like grab your mouse and keyboard in the middle of it let me kill this guy and i'll show you don't want to die but yeah, if you like wanted to play, like you just sit your controller down, you can grab your mouse and keyboard right here. I am not a mouse and keyboard player, so let's try to kill this guy. Ha! Kill you with mouse and keyboard that I don't even use, sucker. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm not good at it, so I don't really... It's hard for me to kind of say like what it feels like. And I would honestly say that playing mouse and keyboard, you probably want to be at a higher frame rate than 60. But again, I'm not good at mouse and keyboard so i don't really i don't i don't know like how it should feel and even like say if i put had at 120 frame rate i still don't play mouse and keyboard because i'm just not i'm not good enough with knowing where everything is to actually feel like i'm getting the benefit you just kill a few things here but yeah and if you didn't want to play you just pick up your controller and it literally switches right back over so you can switch back and forth it's, it's not like you have to have one or the other and once you go into the game like you're locked you're not locked you can do it as you please actually works like really good if you were you know somebody who like using maybe a mouse and keyboard to navigate menus oh yeah i have no lb i'm so used to throwing those you know you could use mouse and keyboard for that but okay so that's gonna wrap it up i uh, just wanted to show you guys that thought it was really cool thought maybe other people would like it uh you actually got to catch keith and all of his lies which made this whole video worth it i mean honestly screw everything you saw you found out keith's a liar and that's really what what matters uh <laughs> but as always thanks for supporting the channel and we'll catch you guys on the next one peace